Same thing. And then why are you the best? Think about that. Figure out your own valuation. Why are you the best? Is it because of your customer service? Or is it because of your offer? Is it because of your certifications? Or is it because of your true, authentic love for your ideal client? Why are you the best? Maybe no one knows. Why, what do you have on lock? Maybe no one knows your industry like you do. Expertise. I know coaching like the back of my hand, master's degree in it. I know what I'm talking about when I speak to coaching. That's it. I just know what I'm talking about. Not because I read a book, not because I took a course, because I've studied for six years. Same thing. And then I got the degree and I've been studying ever since. So we're talking about 11 years deep into the hierarchy and the psychology that is executive coaching, human performance, succession planning, leadership development. This is the, my backyard. This is what I know. What do you know? What are you an expert in? And then again, why are you the best? You might not have clients, customers, or income right now. What does that mean? For some people, that would mean it's over for me. Stick a fork in me. I'm going back to the day job. Other people say I've got exponential growth opportunity. Those are two different perspectives. And I would defer to the latter. You have exponential growth opportunity. Everyone listening to the sound of my voice has exponential growth opportunity. There is nothing but numbers and people out here. There is nothing but numbers and people out here. The only thing it is, is time and patience and discipline and diligence. Time, patience, discipline, and diligence. You will get results as long as you don't leave. Don't quit. If you quit or you leave, good luck. Good luck going out there without a mask on. I can't say what's going to happen to you. But if you keep at it, you will get the results. That is guaranteed. It happens for everyone that does this. Everyone that does this either gets results or are about to. So if you're in the land of digits, that's because you've been working on this for quite some time and you've gotten some results. If you're in the land of crickets, it's because you haven't done it long enough and you still got some things to figure out. And as soon as you figure those out, you'll get the slush fund. Ding. That's how it'll work. Your, your presentation will become a money machine. Your offer will become a money machine. Your Facebook profile will become a money machine. Everything you touch will become a funnel. Everything you do will become funnelized. And everywhere you go, people will throw money at you to solve their problems because you will be equated or the equivalent of a high-skilled technical problem solver in your industry, whatever that industry may be.